Well, hello and welcome to this week's issue of Bering United. If you recall, a couple weeks ago, had a delightful visit with Dr. Pam Smith as uh, we were celebrating the election of a new uh, executive director for our national WMU and some of the implications of that for how we approach uh, not just women's ministry, but particularly the, the, the ministry that has an edge about being missional. And uh, when we talked last, uh, Pam was getting ready to go into a retreat with some of the key uh, ministry leaders among our women across the state of Pennsylvania and South Jersey. And so she promised, or I made her <laughs> promise here live, that uh, she would come back and give us a follow-up report. So welcome back, Pam. Thanks so much. Well, so tell us what happened. Oh, it was it was great. Uh, it was a wonderful weekend, and uh, the women were so engaged, and we were able to just kind of rally around some of the values that we bring as WMU leaders to uh, the the uh, disciple-making movement. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> <laughs> the disciple-making movement here in PA. And... Um, and the the values that we identified, we we think that it's important to have uh, in the discipleship process in every church, every church plant, in the DNA, or you know, in the discipleship process of an existing church, um, that the per, that the disciple be kingdom focused, have a kingdom mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. and one of the values that we can offer is you know we're responsible, for example, for the the promotion of the Lottie Moon. Christmas offering yes, and yes. the international missions emphasis, annual emphasis, and we're we're responsible for the North American missions emphasis and the Annie Armstrong Easter offering, and also the state missions emphasis mm. that we've just come through as a as a convention in the past couple of weeks. And, and by the way, that was great material. Oh, well, I, thank I really, you. I was a little concerned when I opened it up and said disaster, <laughs> but uh, great material, great stories. Uh, thanks for good work on that. Well, thank you. The team, uh, Laura Shaw and Kenton Hunt did a fantastic job of pulling those resources together for us and so we are we're excited about that and hope that your church has been involved in learning more about how disaster relief particularly kind of unites all of our ministries here mm -hmm. and, and kind of be a, a touch point for several ministries but anyway we were talking about the fact that we are the ones who bring that to the table for our churches and our church plants um, helping the members of your church um, get a perspective, a kingdom perspective beyond the local church setting in those ways. But also, uh, we talked about prayer. You know, it's our uh, focus. Uh, one of our key foci, if you will, is, mm -hmm. is prayer. And we've been invited by church planning catalysts to come alongside as they try to discern where is it that God would have us give our energies for the next church plants. Mm -hmm. uh, come along and, and prayer walk with us to try to determine and discern, God, is this the place that you would have a church planter come? And and uh, and so we, we offer that to the church. Just just some of those. And then the children's, the whole children's perspective of growing mm -hmm. children yeah. who catch a, a perspective for the kingdom and a worldwide global view uh, from the time they're kids. Uh, and, and we have the Children's Ministry Day in every February that we're going to be promoting this year, mm -hmm. you know, statewide, um, convention-wide, so that uh, children can be involved in learning as well. So, so if I'm a uh, if I'm a pastor or a, a church planter or a, a leader in, in my church, and I'm interested in finding ways that I can either engage personally or engage, you know, the the congregation that I'm a part of, in 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 looking at ministry out there, mm -hmm. um, prayer walking, uh, uh, you know, ministry focus in the community, uh, I could call you or, or your team yes. and, and, and get information. Yes, and that's that's what we want to bring mm, to good. you. We want to help you um, as you determine what your needs are. Uh, now realize that this is the first step. This this weekend retreat that we just had, mm -hmm. where we identified our values and and we're, say, we're able to say, given our current context mm -hmm. and uh, the limitations perhaps of our team, you know, at this time, what can we what what are the key values that we bring? Mm -hmm. And we this but this is the first of this the process. This is a this is a year long process, and we're, we'll be getting back together to mm -hmm. talk more specifically about how we can structure ourselves mm. to be able to respond quickly and effectively for churches. But yes, in the meantime, please do call. Now, uh, also help me to understand that that obviously part of what you're talking about has a unique uh, connection with, with women and, and women involved in mission and ministry. Right. But it's not just for women. 
That's correct. So tell us a bit about what what the part that's not just for women, what that looks like. <laughs> well, uh, again, we have we have all kinds of ministries that mm -hmm. we support and that we uh, promote. For example, um, the there's Christian Men's Job Corps, okay. where you take you know you have a, a site and you train guys maybe coming out of incarceration or maybe hmm. maybe coming out of poverty and they need job skills and they need or they may need to get a G GED or you know we have Christian Men's Job Corps along with Christian Women's Job Corps we hmm. have the same hmm. program for women um, we also have uh, Pure Water Pure Love and yeah, Drill yeah. Wells and we have uh, the fair trade industry you know hmm. and uh, where you can be involved in helping uh, women uh, primarily across the world um, with, you know, supporting their families. And guys can be involved in that. So so really, if, again, if I'm a church planter or a pastor or a ministry leader and I'm seeing uh, this this video, if there's ministry activities, yes. projects that would engage the people of God outside of the four walls of the church building, uh, you and your team could probably help me. So, in, yes. in, a, in a variety, <laughs> a variety of spectrums, or at least yes. point us to resource that would help us. So yes. this isn't just for the women. That's right. It is certainly for them, but it's broader than that. That's right. So it sounds like the, with this kind of fresh look at the future, the timing is right. Yes, it is. God's timing is always right. Amen. Amen. And it was, it Amen. is the right time. Thank well, you so much. Well, Pam, thank you for joining us, and we look forward to hearing more stories. What I'd be interested in knowing is for our churches to perhaps share some stories of how they partnered in prayer walking or they partnered in some of these ministries so we could uh, kind of raise the banner of how we need to be engaged out there and not just focusing within the four walls of where we gather for worship on Sunday. Thank you for joining us this week, and I look forward to talking to you next week with Barry and United.